All right, today we are going to be looking at writing linear equations. This is day one, and today we are going to focus on three things. How do we write a linear equation given slope and y-intercept? How do we write the linear equation of a horizontal line? And how do we write the linear equation of a vertical line? So let's start off with the slope-intercept. So how do we write an equation of a line in slope-intercept form? Remember that the slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So the steps that we're going to be using is, number one, we're going to find the slope m and then plug it into the equation for m. Now, when we look at that, you may have to count on a graph, rise over run. You may have to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then you may have to just simply use the fraction rise over run. Or it may just be given to you. Step number two, then, you're going to find the y-intercept b and then plug that into the equation for b as well. Once you plug those both in, you are done. All right, so let's give this a shot. So example. So this one on number one, we are given the slope and the y-intercept. So what I'm going to do is I literally am just going to go y equals. I bring down my slope. I attach the x to it, and then I bring down my y-intercept, and that would be my equation. Number two, same thing. I'm given slope and y-intercept, so I have y equals. I bring down my slope, negative two-thirds. I attach x to it, and then it's plus eight. Step number three, I come down. I have my slope and my y-intercept, so my slope is negative four. I attach the x to it. My y-intercept is zero, so I'm not going to put anything else into my equation. And then on number four, my slope is zero. So think about that for a second. Zero times x makes that disappear, makes that all go to zero. So y-intercept, so it would just be y equals nine. So that's how we do it if we are given slope and y-intercept. Now, what if we're given a graph? So if you notice, I'm trying to lead you here a little bit. I'm asking you to find the slope and the y-intercept. So let's start in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the y-intercept. Remember the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So it would be that point there. So I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my y-intercept is a positive 6. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my slope. Remember, the tip I gave is start at the left, and you're going to count rise and then run. So one, two, three, one, two. So since I went up three, that's a positive. Right two, that's a positive. So my slope would be three halves. So now we write that into the equation. Y equals my slope, three halves. Attach the X to it. Add six. And there it is. Okay, let's try number two. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my y-intercept. So I come over here to the graph. I remember the y-intercept is the point where it crosses the y-axis. So I count down one, two, three, four. So my y-intercept is negative four. Now I'm going to look for my slope. I'm going to go from the left point that's down one. One, two, three, right three. So my slope would be negative one-third. So now we write the equation, negative one-third x minus four. All right, so let's try these last couple. So what if we had some different situations here? So it says starting at negative four on the y-axis and then rise of two, run of four. So off to the side, I'm just going to write here. I'm going to write, what's my slope? What's my y-intercept? Well, it tells me that I'm starting at negative 4 on the y-axis, so that would be my y-intercept. My slope, remember, is known as rise over run, so I would just put rise over run and simplify. So now I'm ready to write my equation. y equals 1 half x minus 4. And there's my equation. Let's try another one. Number two, if you notice, they give me the B. So right away, I know that is the y-intercept, but I do need to find the slope. So my slope is negative 6 for a rise, 14 for a run, which can simplify to negative 3 sevenths. So I go negative 3 sevenths X and then minus 3. And that's how we write it given a slope and a y-intercept. 
Now we're going to talk about horizontal and vertical lines. So remember, horizontal lines are y equals a number. The slope is always zero. So if they tell you it is a horizontal line or a slope of zero, then the number in the equation will be either the y value from the ordered pair or the y-intercept, whichever one they give you. Because remember, the y value from the ordered pair is where that line has to sit clear across the graph. Vertical lines are x equals a number. The slope is undefined. If they tell you it is a vertical line or an undefined slope, then the number in the equation will be either the x value from the ordered pair or the x-intercept. So let's take a look at this. So the first thing, it says horizontal line. So right away, it's a horizontal line. I know it is y equals. Well, what does y equal here? y would equal a negative 3. And that's all we have to do. The second one, it says vertical line. So since I say vertical line, I know my equation is x equals. Well, what does x equal? x equals a negative 1 on this one. Okay. Next one, it says a slope of undefined, which means it is going to be a vertical line. So that means I'm going to have x equals, and I look at my ordered pair. Here it would say x equals 2. And on the last one, it says a slope of 0, which tells me it is a horizontal line. And so there, I know it's y equals. So I look at my um, ordered pair, and it would be y equals 7. And that's how we do writing equa linear equations given slope and y-intercept, or given horizontal or vertical lines.